Oh, Atlas Destroyer. Let me tell you about Atlas Destroyer. So this guy was revealed way early in 2021. And I was like, you know what? He's from this Netflix anime, Pacific Rim the Black, that I may never get to. I currently still have yet to watch it. That will probably change because of how much I love this figure. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, it's a Pacific Rim Jaeger. This guy looks awesome. I'm going to pre-order it. So I pre-ordered it. Kind of forgot about it. It got delayed and delayed and delayed. You know how it goes. And all of a sudden, it just showed up at my door a couple days ago. And I was like, oh, cool, I got this. And I opened it up, and I was thinking, wow, this guy's amazing. So it's been a few years since Pacific Rim Uprising, which is kind of crazy, I know. And Robot Damashi, or Robot Spirits, made some awesome figures for Pacific Rim Uprising. Here is Gypsy Avenger, and honestly, I really love this movie. I'm sorry. I actually kind of preferred over the first one. Controversial opinion, I know, but I just found it a little more fun. Because uh, it's a big, dumb robot movie, right? I'm not expecting a deep story. But yeah, you know, here it is with, uh, with Gypsy Avenger, and you can see it's definitely a lot more colorful. <laughs> definitely a lot more angular. Uh, almost a completely different aesthetic. And here it is with a couple other uh, different Jaegers from various lines. Like Gypsy Danger from NECA. That's the old battle damaged one. I actually don't mind displaying these guys side by side. Because, I mean, who cares? Who cares about the slight height difference, right? Just just pretend that they're varied heights. You know, who cares? They're from different eras anyway. Yeah, there it is with the NECA one. And then let's bring in a diamond one. I really wish that uh, Robot Damashi had gotten around to November Ajax. Because he's actually one of my favorite Jaegers, period. But unfortunately they didn't, so we just have the Diamond Select one. Which you can see, about the same size, so he actually works pretty well. But he is not nearly as articulated or as nice as the uh, the Robot one, the robot Spirits ones. Like, that's pretty much as far as his elbows bend. It's kind of crazy compared to the craziness that these kind of figures can pull off. So yeah, let's just get down with his accessories. So, he has open hands and fist hands. You know, you get, you get some cool poses out of these. Have them for, for both. You know, you can have them punching. You can have them open hands. I actually really like, obviously, you know, pounding his fist hand, but also a lunging pose. You know, he's pretty good at the whole lunging thing. Like, just look at that, dude. He's so awesome. Anyways, <laughs> he has that. And his main other accessory, which I will briefly show him with, but I actually kind of prefer him without it is a whole interchangeable arm. Because apparently in the show, you know, kind of classic robot sort of thing, he loses an arm and he needs it replaced. So this is actually an arm from another Jaeger that he gets added on to him. And it's pretty neat. It's red. Doesn't really complement the color scheme too well. Definitely, obviously, looks like, you know, another Jaeger's arm just stitched on. But still, you can see it gets some pretty cool articulation. Uh, does pop out of place, but pops right back in. I said it pops right back in. There we go. Thank you. You know, you get some, some swivel, get some nice bend. You actually have ball joints at each claw too. So that's really cool. And he's got this little piece in the middle. This is why I keep the thumbnail long. <laughs> has that joke gotten old yet? I'm sure it has. But yeah, you can pop that little piece out and in its place, I just dropped it. That is awesome. Uh, definitely don't want to drop this thing given how fragile it is. Uh, yeah, it's this big old, like, chain weapon. And it just kind of goes on in. Gotta find, it actually does have a slot in the peg, so you have to find the actual right direction it goes. So yeah, you got this big old, like, chain spike. And this is actually really sharp. Like, if you stroke your fingers this way, it's fine, but the other way it is seriously barbed. It's sharp. It actually will hurt. And it's very rigid plastic, so it might very easily snap, too. So, yeah, it's a cool accessory. I mean, it's definitely not going to fall. That's a good thing. Like, it's not going to succumb to its own weight, which is good, because a lot of accessories like this very easily do that. But, yeah, I mean, it's cool. If you really like this look, I think it's awesome. I personally like this look. I don't really like this look. I actually do prefer him looking a little more symmetrical. So we will remove this. Pop this back in. You can see it does have a little little notch right in there. Gets it perfectly aligned. It, there we go. Get that in. I said get that in. There we go. And let's pop this arm off. And unfortunately, one thing I don't really like is his shoulder pads are on C-clips. 
They've worked fine for now, but I've had these kind of clips for shoulder pads break on me over time just because they get stressed from being clipped off and on and off and on and just from clipping in general. Come on, it's a, there we go. So yeah, definitely a little iffy on that, but other than that, man, this is an awesome figure and one of my favorite figures of 2021. I am being dead serious. I love this guy. So as you can see, he looks awesome. I love the color scheme. I love the design. He's so angular. He's so sharp. I love the color separation. It's almost like, it's kind of like a very, you know, yellowy orange. Like in my viewfinder, it looks more orange. But in with my real eyes, with my red green color deficiency, it looks more yellow. It's kind of funny. I would say it's a very, very, very bright orange bordering on yellow. It's a really cool color, though. I really do like it. And you can see a lot of Robot Damashi, what they do, it's actually color separation instead of being um, painted. So, like, that's actually blue plastic, that's yellow plastic. Of course, you know, things like the shoulder pads and the chest and the head, that has to be painted. But a lot of, like, the armor panels, those are just color separation. But things like the hands and the biceps there, those are, those are painted. And honestly, the paint matches the plastic pretty well, I'd say. You know, it's pretty seamless. But yeah, man, you've, you've looked at him. You've looked at him enough. Let's let's get on with this articulation, man, because this, this is what makes this figure really fun. I said get on that shoulder pad. Wouldn't it be funny if it broke right on camera? Let's not jinx ourselves. All right, so let's get crazy. So his head is on a ball joint up top. Doesn't get a whole lot of up, but you can see with the combined torso joint, you can get a decent amount of up. Down, though, you can get a lot of down. You can get a lot of tilt, too. Definitely make him look really expressive. Good side-to-side -side motion, too, given how it's a giant robot. Moves forward and back, side-to-side. -side. The shoulders move up about that far. They're on ball joints, and the ball joints themselves kind of have a little bit of shimmy. Bicep swivel, double-jointed elbow, gives you almost full range. Uh, Ball-jointed hands which gives you some good range too. The hips are crazy. He does have drop down hips, so you can get him out this far. And he actually has like, you can see it's almost like a ball joint compared to that. So it's like a ball joint on a ball joint. So you've got drop down hips and you've got like the thigh swivel on its own ball joint. So that basically results in him, in him doing some crazy high kicks. And with his combined articulation and his durability, because he's made out of very sturdy plastic, yes, you can get him doing a high kick standing on one foot. That is something you can totally have him do. Oh, man, that is badass. I love it. Um, <laughs> but, of course, you do have a thigh swivel out of that. Double-jointed uh, knee. And, obviously, given that crazy high kick, you can also get him doing some really cool kneeling poses. Like, you can really get him kneeling. That's really cool. And then his feet... They're on dumbbell joints, so you have a lot of back, decent amount forward, and a lot of tilt. His feet are so expressive. I don't know, can he do an Ironman ground pound? I haven't even tried. Given how much he can move his leg, I'm inclined to say yes, but I don't think his head's going to look up enough. I mean, sort of. I just don't think his head's going to look up enough, unfortunately. But yeah, that's... Oh, man, this figure is so awesome. I love it so much. He's so fun to pose. He's so easy to pose. I wish he had more accessories, like some more weapons and everything, but apparently in the story, like, this is actually... This was a Jaeger that was... that did see combat, but then became, like, a training Jaeger. But I'm sure it actually ends up fighting Kaiju. I mean, come on, that's usually how these kind of shows go. But yeah, I mean, just look at that. He poses like a dream. Like an absolute dream. He's so awesome. <laughs> he feels so durable. I'm not afraid to break him. I feel like I can do anything with him. Like, he can he can be my best friend forever. He is just the coolest. Ah, man, when it comes to, like, cool robot action figures, I think these Pacific Rim robot spirits are by far, by far, some of the coolest. Like, here, you can, you can get him so expressive. Here, let's pop this hand. Just to, just to kind of get him looking all scared and, and girly. Yeah, because girls are always scared. Here, let's pretend like he's seeing a mouse. 
Oh no, it's a mouse! Oh gosh! Oh my gosh, this hand is a mouse! It's like it's so expressive. It's so funny. Um, so yeah, he's he's a he's a he's a he's a sissy confirmed. He's just a little girly sissy, because all girls are sissies, and that's a fact, and not sexist whatsoever. And that totally reflects my actual attitudes, and I'm totally not speaking sarcastically. Anyways, yeah, man, it's an awesome figure. I really like it. <laughs> if you like giant robots, if you like Pacific Rim, let me repeat, if you like giant robots, and if you like giant robot action figures, you owe it to yourself to get this. Honestly, it's not even super expensive either. It's, a, I think it's about like thirty-five bucks or so. Not a lot, honestly, for what you get. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I do wish it came with more accessories, but I'm I'm really happy with it. I'm I'm actually over the moon with this thing. Expect this guy to be in my top ten robots of the year list. I would be honestly surprised if he doesn't make it. I mean, this has been a really strong year for Transformers. A decent year for Gunpla too. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get like two of the greatest Gunpla of the year, uh, <laughs> the Nightingale and the uh, RG High New Gundam, because HLJ did not get enough uh, stock to fill pre-orders, and I've been waiting like almost half a year, and I still haven't seen anything. So yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, I r highly recommend this guy. It's awesome. I love it. Definitely a very colorful addition to the Pacific Rim collection, if you actually collected like all the Jaegers like I did. Um, and if you like kaiju too, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's a cool robot to fight your kaiju. I don't own any kaiju because I'm a robot fan, not really a monster fan. So, but yeah, let's just, let's get him back to back with his, I guess we'll call Gypsy Avenger his bro. Look at that. Whoa, that's radical, dude. But yeah, <laughs> there we go, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Special shout out to the patrons of Patreon. You guys are awesome. Thank you all so much for the continued support. I genuinely really appreciate it. Alrighty, guys. I hope you enjoy the content I've been putting out for the month of December. Um, if not, I apologize. You know, I'm, I'm trying my best here. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you all so much. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.